and Webhead. It's me, Jess Bragg, and Webhead. I am Omnidog from Omnidog's Vault, joined as always at this particular time of the month with Webhead, where we talk about the collected editions that are essential to you, the readers out there. Right, Chris? Yeah, mostly all of them, but but essential. These are the essential ones. Uh, Chris is from comicreleases.com, and the description and links to his site are down below. We have links to comicreleases.com, links to his Patreon, and I think I have a link to your Discord in there, too. Right on. Uh, if, I mean, I bet I could check. Well, whatever. I, I'll check we'll after it. it. I'll make sure it's in there. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but but I know I got your Patreon in there. Uh, so and what when you go to comic releases, um, you find out what uh, books are coming up for six, eight months and. Anything five, I possibly know about everything he knows we're, about and we're it up is, to July of next year. Pretty nice. I mean, this is a pretty good, darn good site and service that you provide uh, where people can go to comicreleases.com to find out what is coming up, not only through the rest of this year, but halfway through next year. But even this is the one caveat, even with um, all the knowledge that mankind can put together in his head and technology and stuff cannot keep us from books that get pushed back. So that's out of our control. So some of these books could get pushed back from November to next October, whenever. So just <laughs> uh, keep that in mind. It hasn't been as bad lately, though, at least. It's not as bad as when we first started out doing this. There was a point, I think, a book was on this video three months in a row. Uh, that I feel like that was recent, wasn't it? Do you remember what book it that was? It may have been more than once. <laughs> <laughs> and, was it that Den book? Wasn't oh, that on yeah. here well, that, time? Yeah, that went out of print really fast. Yeah, instantly. But, yeah, but I, I feel like it's getting a restock, maybe, but they haven't announced anything. Uh, and I feel badly that I didn't get that because I do love Richard Corbin's uh, work. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about it because I, I don't know that much, but then, you know, and it's gone. Yeah, there's no time to think <laughs> about that book. It was just boom. Um, this is for Essential Editions, November 2023. If you want to get a hold of me, Omnidog, ideas for the show, things that you are thinking about or just want to say hi, you can always reach me at omnidogsvault2 at gmail.com. And, of course, organic price books, code $2 off with the Sorry, code Omnidog gets you $2 off your order and 5% off shipping four more books together. Omnidog, ship it together. Peace and love. Okay. So, uh, before we get started, let's look at that statue that you just showed me because from the Spider Man, the Spider Man 2. Yep. Okay, this is pretty boss. This has both. Is that's both Miles and Peter going at Venom, and that came with the collector's edition of the the PS5. Did it only get released for the PS5 or all platforms? Yeah, yeah PS5 exclusive, <laughs> which I have been playing instead of updating the website. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, well, of course, I still have to finish Spider Man One. It was a lot of fun, but I, I still need to do it. But I haven't heard of a game in in my particular universe everybody that plays games in my particular universe has been playing this game non-stop since it came out it's fun and i've had it's ha super fun it's like everybody dropped everything <laughs> to play this game and i i really should uh, get it but of course it would go on my stack of shame of video games i have many stacks of shame including a video game one see this one goes to the top so it doesn't go on the stack of shame because <laughs> I am webhead. Yes, <laughs> so I have to play. Yeah, so yeah, you're you're uh, obligated. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I have kids, so it takes a little while. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't have any excuse other than the fact I need to keep reading books um, for reviews and overviews and stuff. Um, but I haven't played. I play Horizon Zero Dawn with my daughter, and that's really about it. Do Spider Man with her next? <laughs> Uh, we go to the first week in november november 7th i believe Mm -hmm. and we start out with absolute batman court of owls is this a reprint or is this the first time i feel like it's i think this is the i think this is a reprint i think i feel like it is it doesn't say new printing or anything in the name but Oh. I'm pretty sure we've had one. Okay. Um, that this has been out before. For you epic collectors out there, great responsibility, yes. amazing Spider-Man. This is the first volume, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 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 Lee Ditko. Okay, so it's the first one. It's a big deal. Oh, wait, no. Second one. Yeah. Second one. Hey, what? Do you know what you're doing or not? What's happening? No, I have to go oh. look on my own website. Okay, good. <laughs> keep, keep that up because I'm going to have many questions about many things. Uh, one of the best things I've ever read, the Brubaker run in Captain America. This is Return of the Winter Soldier. That is, this is volume five, right? Wait. Uh, yeah, volume five. I think so. Trial is volume four. Lives. Okay, two. yeah. Cap dies or something is volume two. So trial yeah. three. Okay, good. This is awesome. Everybody needs to read this whole run. Uh, I, I, there's no exceptions. Everyone needs to read this run. Even if you don't like Captain America, if you're not the biggest fan of Captain America, this Brubaker book is. It will really make incredible. you one. Yeah. It, it, that's exactly one. right. It will. I did not care about Captain America, and then I read this run, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Exact I same thing America. with me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first week in November. This is the complete Klaus Klaus by Morrison and Claus? Mora. Claus. I say okay. it in my head, Klaus, because yeah, it's Santa Claus. Even I though it's Claus. obviously about Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. This is a great series, and this is probably the most accessible grant morrison book out there and it's wonderful so here's the complete clause complete clause clause complete clause <laughs> why am i having a trouble with that i think we broke him <laughs> <laughs> oh good a deluxe edition of new frontier so this must be a reprint yeah i have i have this and i have that deluxe <laughs> i have the deluxe and the absolute which is ridiculous, but I'm not giving up my absolute, and I needed the extra As story. do I. <laughs> I feel better now. Good. Uh, I'll new... sell my deluxe, though. <laughs> or give it to someone. Whatever. New fr- okay, so New Frontier, Deluxe, Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 1. So this is a reprint. Mm-hmm. Right? That is correct. Good. I'm glad this is a great run on Daredevil, and I'm glad that it sold through and they needed to reprint it. This is really good. Mm-hmm. It's a great pretty series. Much all the Daredevil Omnis are, are pretty freaking good. Yeah. Except I maybe think... the Shadowland one. <laughs> maybe that supposedly has good stuff at the beginning before it goes into Shadowland. Yeah. I, I just skipped Shadowland and went to this after... I skipped right over it, too. I was like, nope. Whoop! Yeah, it goes, what, Bendis, Brubaker, then this? I mean, well, if you start out Frank Miller, but I'm just saying, you can skip Shadowland and go right to this, and you won't miss a thing. You won't. This is great. This is super great. Everybody should get this. Okay, Echo, the saga of Maya Lopez. I Is this a... Big hmm. trade paperback. And is this like those other books, like Monica Rambeau, where there's just random stories, or is just like is this a full story? This one is. Mm, I think it's like her run on Daredevil, so it's Daredevil ninety eight nine through fifteen. 
which I think is the Kevin Smith stuff. Okay. I'm not sure. And then uh, 51 through 55. Okay, so it's it's not in. like random appearances and everything. This is her story. So this I don't. Yeah. I'm not really familiar with her. I know she has a show coming out that the trailer looks good for. Her. Um. So okay, cool. This would be good. Yeah. I think it literally says like digital tie-in or something if you look at it on Amazon. <laughs> oh. Like go watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> Invincible Compendium Three. All right. Those are, if I recall, standard size. Standard hardcover. size compendium. Hard co- okay, it's a hardcover. That's good to know. Yes. So you're not gonna uh, get the that other card. compendiums oh. already exist. Now they're putting out hardcover compendiums, but they're the same size. Nice. Okay. Well, a com- hardcover compendium is takes away the problem with the crinkly spine. So that's this is actually a good thing. And yep. you're welcome for this. This must be the deluxe of Manifest <laughs> Destiny. I have, I oh, they're in the other room. I don't know. I have all eight or nine or however many there are. This is a wonderful series. Uh, people should really give this a chance. I feel this is like an under the radar gem that not enough people know about, but apparently it's sold enough to warrant a deluxe. So that's awesome. I'll probably grab that. Yeah, this is something really, really good. I think this is a special book. Superman Unchained Deluxe. Really I weird will... reprinting. Yeah, considering that I'm the only person that seemed to really like this, maybe two other people <laughs> ever. Uh, great Jim <laughs> Lee art. I, I like the Snyder story, I you know, but I'm also kind of goofy for Superman, but I dug this, so... I know um, I read it. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, I've reread it a few times. I, re, I really enjoy it, but I get it. That's it's good. not for everybody. Superman Super Core standard hardcover. So this is the Josh Williamson run starting now. Standard hardcover. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I've made peace with DC. <laughs> I'll just it's better than you know trade paperback. Even though I. Love buying trade paperbacks. I don't care. Standard dollar cover, Superman. I'm getting it. Of course, I'm getting it. It's Superman. We know. <laughs> Never in question. The last Ronin lost years. This is a uh, oversize follow up yep. to the last Ronin. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's got to be a good thing for a lot of people out there. Yoink. And the last book for the first week in November, uh, November, (laughs) November 7th, (laughs) Golden Age Wonder Woman, Volume 5, Omnibus. Nice. Then we move on to November 14th, the week of, and this is Absolute Preacher, Volume 2. That's a badass cool cover. cover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm due for a reread of Preacher. I, I read it and haven't reread it since my read. So I'm probably due. I need to update and get reread this, but I have so much other stuff to read. But everybody yeah, out I'm there, gonna... if you haven't read Preacher, you really should. It's awesome. I have that in standard. I don't even think it was a deluxe that I collected that in. I did have a set of the standards and then I upgraded to Omnis. I'm not oh, going to upgrade to Absolute though. Oh, they have an I don't uh I that miss I missed that. They have an Omni of this. A couple <laughs> Omnis probably. Okay. Well, preacher's great and will offend everyone out there. Everybody yeah, that reads it is uh, offended. It has something it will to offend definitely. everyone. <laughs> it's yeah it's pure garth ennis Just yeah in its purest unfiltered mm-hmm. form i haven't even read the whole thing but i read the first couple like i think the first hardcover worth and i was like jesus yeah yeah that's why i need to reread it um adventures of superman john kent Ooh, tom taylor uh 
fine. I'm getting this. I'm happy to read more Tom <laughs> Taylor. Uh, he, okay, he wrote Superman's Son of Kal El, right? Tom Is this Taylor. like a follow up to that? Maybe. I I guess they yeah. I guess it must be. Maybe they'll make another a fourth edition of Super Sons Omnibus. Oh my gosh. Don't put that into the universe. <laughs> Although that book is great. All new Firefly, but it's not Greg Pack writing. It's David Booher. Booher. Okay. The Gospel According to Jane. Part three. These are standard hardcovers, if I'm not mistaken. Standard. Okay. And we're in the second week in November, the week of November 14th. Ah, the Hush Saga Omnibus. That is a cool cover. I was excited at first, but if you got the the deluxe and then the... Uh, um, Paul Dini. What's that? Yeah, the Dini Omni. You kind of have all that's good out of this. However, if you don't have those things, this is great. I agree. Yeah. This was my first absolute, absolute hush. That's another nice. story I like that some other people don't. I don't care. I like what I like. <laughs> okay. Sorry. What? What happened here? Blade. <laughs> what's happening here? Oh, Blade Early Years Omnibus. Wolfman, Gene Colon, Chris Claremont. I can't read that. I should move this over so I can read it a little better. But um yeah, it's okay. a smattering of his appearances you know okay that is a boss cover look at that <laughs> <laughs> that vampire is awesome okay good blade the early years the omnibus dead romans yeah i don't know what this is but uh it's an image book and i was like hmm. it's uh, a hardcover Yep. OHC from Image. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can get some more info since you have no idea what it is. And I have yeah, no I don't know this. what this is. I want to know. This book says Arminius, a Germanic prince raised in Rome, has sworn vengeance against the empire that butchers his people. He wants to make a queen of the woman he loves, Honoria, a fellow slave. Now 50,000 Romans will die to give her a throne she never asked for or wanted. Sounds bloody. Yeah. Collects okay. dead Romans one through six. I was not even, didn't even know the Romans were dead, but okay. I'll... A lot of them will be. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like it. <laughs> okay. This is funny. Disenchantment, old, untold tales. I never saw that show. I didn't either. Treasury the First. Okay. I still need to catch up on Futurama. Love that show. It... Is this everything in one? This Ex Machina? So that's oh, yeah. a reprint? Yep. I have this Omni, and it is chonky. Yeah. It's one it of must the biggest be. ones I've got. It must be 1,500 <laughs> pages. Yeah. I feel confident that that is true. <laughs> uh i'm due to reread this. 1440 okay i was only off by 60 yeah i need to reread this and i need to reread why the last man and those are both great and i finished Just Scalp, a... so, yeah brian k vaughn off mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you could uh you could read paper girls after you read those i i love paper girls i'm happy to reread that well, you're welcome for this. Ice Cream Man <laughs> Sunday Edition Volume 2. Great series. And I've got it all in trade paperback. I am not upgrading, but if you don't have this, strongly consider it. It's very good stories of creepy horror. <laughs> yes, I will be getting that. Good. You should. Inside the Mind of Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. Yeah, just because, you know, I got tight books here a lot now. 
mm-hmm. par- partly because uh, they put they put all their stuff through Penguin, so it's really easy for me to <laughs> grab the info. They put a lot out a lot of good stuff. Okay, cool. I'll give this a, a I'll check this out. Yeah, it's crime, and I'm into crime. It's a it's a news story based like, and it's about Sherlock. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, it does sound interesting. <clears throat> Omega the Unknown book. The Unknown book. Omega yeah, the Unknown. This looks like uh, some weird late 60s, early 70s stuff I've never heard really. This looks like 70s, early, yeah, early to mid 70s to me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> for those of you who've been waiting for this masterwork, here it is Omega the Unknown. Star Trek. Whoever you final. are. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Well, wrote this. That hmm. actually was like, hmm. um, IDW oh. has been putting out a good amount of Star Trek stuff, except it's all in freaking standard hardcover or trade paperback. I keep hoping that they'll give it the same treatment they do with Ninja Turtles, because hmm. I would totally read their Star Trek stuff up. I love Star Trek. Cantwell's. I re- I'm a fan of Christopher Cantwell. That's for sure. And Star Trek. So, hmm, I will hmm, I will ponder this. We're still <laughs> in the second week of November. November 14th is the day. The War World Saga. Well, you're welcome for this because I had everything in trade paperback. This is also a trade paperback. It's a thick oh, it trade is. paperback. It's just a yeah. chonky thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I haven't read I this. I hope they put out a hardcover of this at some point. Yeah, you'd think they would. Philip Kennedy Johnson, very strong writer. Um, and I I do want to read this. I'm more caught up on Batman than I am Superman. <laughs> Star Wars Epic Collection, The Empire Legends, Volume 8. I've really been pumping out a lot of these, too. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Epic Collection. And what do we have next? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arm the Armageddon game. Okay, I'm just checking out the cover. It's weird because it's a standard hardcover. And huh. I'm not sure what that's about. I saw there's a new oh, where is it? Hmm. There's a new uh solicit turtle stuff coming soon too okay i could find the link that i had posted here we go i think it included some of this is the only reason i bring it up oh okay which we will know eventually oh wait no 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 okay it doesn't include this it includes something called the armageddon game opening moves i don't know okay I don't know anything about it, but here it is for everybody that wants it. This exists. Yeah. Uh, what What are we looking at here? X-Men Grand Design, I know. Big, got big trade paperback. It. It's everything in... Uh, it's like the modern epic thing now? Like a I guess in a sense. Product. Yeah. Is it oversized? No. No. Okay. Standard... Trade paperback. Thicker though. I enjoyed like this book or a lot. Yep. I kept my treasury sized edition things. This is a really good book. Uh, and that's it for the second week. And we move on to the third week in November, the week of uh November 21st. Aquaman Andromeda. Ooh, Ram V. Uh okay, I'm so gonna get right now. <laughs> I, I will get this. This, yeah, Ram V, Aquaman, cool. I'm in. You're there. Yeah, man. <laughs> Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 14. Volume 14. Is this it, or are there more? This is the this is the last of the Mira stuff. Okay. So after this, it will be the continuation by his you know, by his people. Mm hmm. Okay, Berserk. If they put out more. 
Mm, that's a good point. Black Science Volume One. What? Form? I'll save it the time. It's one, two, and three. They're all coming out on the same day. These are the tenth anniversary deluxe editions. These are hardcover. Yeah. So one, two, You're three are all them coming with new out. Covers. Yep. Oh. I like this series. I have it in big I remender size. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. I like Black Science. Oh, this is what you were saying. Volume one and two. <laughs> yep. And I, three. I okay. Nice. These are cool covers. Yep. And you know what? You're right. I gotta go. I gotta go fix that. I have them listed as OHC, but they are library size. Oh, they're okay. These are remender. Okay, so it's a reprint of the remenders, uh, remender yep. size books. Okay. Yeah, straight reprint. Okay, good. These are well, cool. This is a good series. Covers. Wait, this is okay. It's volume three. Yeah. Okay. This is a good book. I love this book. I love it too. Highly recommend. B. E. Schwab, extraordinary, a villain story. Yeah, something Titans putting out. It looked interesting. B. E. Schwab. The way the the way the cover looks, it looks like it's just a novel almost. So I had yeah. to double check that it was actually a comic book before I, before I put the image in here. And this is being put out by Titan, you said. Yeah. This is a really cool cover. Okay, I'll put that on my list of things to check out. This is the third week of November. Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner Rising Compendium. That's... Okay. I assume it's a lot of pages. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I don't know. I did not read this. This was not when I was reading steadily. What is this sometime in the 90s, maybe? Yeah, I believe it's like his first stuff. Okay. Well, I know a lot of people like Kyle Rayner, so this is a good book for them to have. Oh, Grendel. I read Grendel back in the day. Devil by the Deed, Master's Edition. Matt Wagner. It's a pretty cool cover. And this book is a sort of recreation of his first appearances. Oh. He had tweeted about this, actually, very recently. Hmm. Here's a look at some of the interior art. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I'm, I'm going to definitely grab this one. Okay. Because I'm, I'm interested in Grendel. It sounds cool. I remember liking it back back in the 90s when I read it. Yeah. Okay, so now we got more Invincible. This is the Complete Invincible Library, Volume 1. So these are library-sized Invincibles? Invincible? They are. Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. So I did not use that word the way that Boom likes to throw in 400 words that make no sense. This really is library <laughs> size. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Someday. Oh, so this I is a reprint be... of volume one. This is a series that they had before and then never finished. So they reprinted oh. volume one. And then as you get to the next one. Aha. Volume four. Volume so they stopped four. volume three last time. Volume one, so volume four, so wait, what happened to volumes two and three? I think those are all they're already out. Well, they had come out before. Oh, so this is this like a finishes it off. I would I would assume at some point they're probably gonna reprint the other ones too. Mm, okay. Werewolf by Night, Volume 2, Masterworks. Okay, that looks really cool. <laughs> ah, Poison Ivy. Thank you, Volume 2. I can't wait for this. This is the third week in November, November 21st 
I love this series. And I'm fine that it's standard. Just happy they're letting G. Willow Wilson run with it. The Tello Saga, Todd DeZago, Mike Waringo. Hmm. And I, I have searched far and wide. I have absolutely no idea what size this book is. I do know that it's a hardcover. Okay. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to ask this question after we get <clears throat> done with this week. The week of, uh, okay, this is Incredible Hulk Volume 2 Omnibus. Well, I'll be darned. Volume 2. Some people are going to be very happy about that. Yeah. Paul Dano, the guy that played the Riddler, and he's an actor that people are familiar with. The Riddler Year One. Feel like some people have told me, like in some of my live shows in the chat, that they like this. I, uh, I know Paul Dano's um, a famous actor, so hmm, I'll put this on my radar. The Riddler Year One. Oh, whoa, Sandman Morpheus Helm. So, what, what I don't we... know for sure the size of them, but those books, those are books in the in the mask. The mask is like a bookshelf thing, like a little, almost like a box set, except it's the mask, which is, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, oh, so you buy this and the books are in the helm. And so it's a display piece with the book. Oh, Wow. 2016 Jess would have bought this, no questions asked. It's also five hundred dollars. So oh, I may have <laughs> asked a couple questions then. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Slow that train down. <laughs> this is undeniable. But if this is like your though. favorite thing, this is pretty cool. This is very cool. Um, so that brings us to the end of November, the week of November 21st. Let me ask you about this book that I don't know if it exists. People ask me all the time about this book, Faust. Do you, did Faust get released? And if so, did it sell out immediately? Do you have? I'm just wondering oh. if if Faust ever got released because people, it seems to be like a ghost book. People thought it was getting released and they can't find it anywhere. Mm. Like a, a hardcover? Yeah. Mm. I I mean, I have not been able to find out any information about this book, but people ask me about it all the time. I don't know. We'll have to go on a hunt. Okay. <clears throat> try to figure out what the book is first, and then I can try and track it down. Yeah, exactly. Do you okay. know what company publishes it? That'd be a good place to start. Uh, let me see. I I don't off the top of my head. No, I don't. There. Um. Wait, Faust, Love of the Damned? They haven't. Okay, I, I, uh, no, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It might be this one, Faust, Love of the Damned. Love of the Damned. Looks like it's like a library sized book published by Black Mask Comics, who I've never heard of. Love of the Damned. Rebel Heart Studios in partnership with Black Mask Studios. It says it was published in May. Hmm. Okay. Well, I want to. I'll. I'll go. On, I'll um, do some research on my own too, and we'll see if we can figure this out. Oh, Last it was a Kickstarter. Oh yeah, it was a Kickstarter. I do know that. Gotcha. Okay, while you're researching that, I'll go through the last week of November, <laughs> which is Epic Collection, Avengers West Coast. 
Lost in Space and Time. Moon Knight in there. That's cool. Another epic collection. Excalibur, you are cordially invited. This is the last week in November. Silver Age Green Lantern Omnibus Volume 1. I need to put out overviews of Green Silver Age Green Lantern and Silver Age Flash just so they're out there. Uh, I already have this, but I don't have it in the boss new spine, the trade dress that this is. Oh, gotcha. Epic Collection, Invincible Iron Man, The War of the Super Villains. Ah, Seven Soldiers of Victory, or they're just called Seven Soldiers. Okay. Grant Morrison, on the Grant Morrison scale of easy accessible if claws is one and the filth is 10 i would say this is a three this is pretty you do need to know who the characters are but i really like this book a lot i've loved seven soldiers ever since it came out so it's not hard to get into all-Star Superman would be a two if Klaus is a one and this is a three. Spider-Man by Tom Taylor. What now? Uh, yeah. Big trade paperback. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man? That is his. Let's see. I feel like... Yes. Okay. Number one through 14. Okay, this is great. I have it in trade paperback, so this is like a complete collection type thing. 100% recommend. This is really good. Oh, and I saw some info on Reddit, basically. That Faust book was a super low print run, and a lot of stuff got canceled. Oh, okay. So it's sold out then. And what canceled? Oh, so people got like their orders. Like pre-orders got canceled. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll we're send waiting for the Reddit thread. But All right, thanks. I don't know any more than that, but hopefully they print more. I feel like okay. if you run out of something, that's a good time to make more of that thing. Yeah. <laughs> but this is comics, Dark, so. Thunderbolts, Dark Rain. Yeah, I, it's, it's kind of a weird. I was like, do I include this? I don't know what this is, but it's it's a thick trade paperback. Oh, okay. Thunderbolts. I think it is indeed from the Dark Reign era. That makes sense. I feel like I must have that in something else, though. Maybe I don't. Great paperback from the time, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. And the last book of November, a great reprint because this book is awesome gail simone wrote a great wonder woman there was great art in it this came out during the pandemic and boom instantly it hard out. to find yeah immediately sold out and i highly recommend getting this book it's really really good some of gail simone's best stuff uh so what are you we'll go over everything really quickly what are you most excited for in all of this Hmm. There's a lot like of I, things I already have. I was just going to say, I feel <laughs> like I have a lot of this already. But Probably that last Ronin people, book. Okay. But for a there. lot of people, they may not have this stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess on a personal note, there's not actually that many books in here. That Oh, Berserk Volume 14. And mm, that Aquaman okay. Andromeda. And Ice Cream Man Sunday Edition Volume 2. <laughs> okay, we're finding some things. <laughs> uh, I already have this. Have that in trade paperback. I'll check this out. This Sherlock Holmes book. That sounded interesting to me. That, um... What's it called? Uh... Where is it? Oh, yeah, I want this. Rendell. That one, I'm. It's pretty Grendel? Cool stuff. Yeah, that's what, okay. And I want to check this out. Look at this. 
like the longer I do this, I start getting into more weird stuff. Like, you know, it's fun. The stuff Even that you the, include? The stuff that, yeah, this, well, the stuff that I read, I read more weird stuff than, you know, I, when I started this out, it was mostly Marvel. Yeah. Like a DC a little image. Now I'm, I'm buying whatever it was called, Skies of Fire. Some something about blimps put out. Oh yeah, by... yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this... <laughs> I'm off here like I don't know what this is. Let's do it. <laughs> I definitely want this. This is my most wanted Poison Ivy Volume Two and the Riddler. Oh, I might read that on the DC app first. And I need. I'm to... starting to feel like I should add a Kickstarter section or something. Oh, that, yeah, I, this is good. Just be so People many needed. things. People definitely have to get this Spider-Man by Tom Taylor. Don't know about the Thunderbolts. Hardcover and... only. <laughs> hardcover, hardcover bust. Oh. The, the Spider-Man one is the trade paperback. I'll wait, oh. please. You're, oh, you're going to hold out and wait, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the only way that I just don't go completely insane <laughs> and spend a bazillion dollars. <laughs> mm, I crossed that bridge a long time ago. <laughs> it's too late for me. Yeah, too late for me, everybody. But save don't yourself. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. <laughs> so, Webhead, please go to his site, comicreleases.com, to get all the up-to-date info. It's an amazing website. It's always updated. And it's just a huge gift to the comic book community. It's a great resource. And Omnidog's Vault, that's me on YouTube. On Instagram, I'm Omnidog's underscore vault. And I have a Discord that's uh, actually fairly active, and I have fun in there. So go to Omnidog's Vault oh. Discord. There's a link for that in there. And I think your Discord has a link, too. Oh, that we already talked about that. I'm going to add that if it's not there. So, peace and love, peace and love. Thank you for tuning into this. Please remember to go to Organic Price Books. Say my name. And good deals will appear for you. Thank you for doing this, Webhead. Oh, I love doing it. It's I'm always fun. Yeah, we'll see you in December. <laughs> peace and love, peace and love. I will use my... Uh, theme song to play us out and thank you so much right. for tuning in everybody talk to you later